everyone welcome to another video james and i are currently in a car park queue as we are heading off to the oakley 20 race today um this is part of our marathon training james is training for manchester i'm training for london how long is it till manchester james two weeks today two weeks and it's five weeks till london so after today's race james will be heading into what we call a taper this is quite a short taper compared to other people a standard taper i reckon on average is three to four weeks i think three weeks is the average taper so if you're wondering what a taper is so taper is a block within your marathon training where you decrease the intensity and volume of your training so the frequency may be the same so you may be running still the same time amount of times per week so if you're typically running four times a week you will still be running four times but just the intensity and the mileage drops so maybe a decrease in mileage especially on your long runs and then in terms of the if you're doing any speed sessions then the intensity of those may drop if not even just sort of easy pace so tapering anything you what, what's your experience of it it's uh the hardest part of the tapering is to resist the urge and to remember that less is more yes that is very correct a lot of people start to panic that once they're in a taper they feel like they need to be doing more to benefit but actually doing less is more yeah you've done the training you, you can't do anything you're not going to get sharper fitter stronger in the last few weeks now yeah and i think the biggest thing is that your body that if you go out and do a hard session your body doesn't get the like the benefits and the adaptations of that session like the next day it takes a while for your body to recover and get those aerobic benefits so i think that going out and doing lots in the last few weeks is just not going to be any good for you on race day you want your legs to be feeling nice and fresh i like to think it's kind of like a conditioning phase conditioning your body mm, i like that what can people do then to combat that urge to go out probably do the stuff that you should have been doing anyway so if you feel the urge to do something go downstairs in front of the tv and do some yoga or stretching or go for a swim nothing too intense but yeah some light cross training swimming yoga stretching foam rolling is all going to be good i guess if you've got anything on your to-do list that you haven't done for a while <laughs> then um yeah just and just relax chill out enjoy it marathon training can be quite stressful i think so start just fueling. start oh no that, <laughs> that's another one i think that's a big topic carb loading carb loading what do you i don't change my diet any different near the race yeah that's that's a big thing loads of people like i know that sometimes i like put on instagram and twitter and stuff like yeah hey i'm carb loading but realistically no i was joking but some people just go carb crazy the last week and yeah you're not going to really put on weight as such but that's not what you eat so why are you yeah no you i think you have got to be careful because your body you know you've been doing a lot of training and if you reduce then you start to reduce that amount of training if you carry on eating more then it's not it's not actually going to be good for you come race day i think i felt in coming up to the race before i felt a bit like bloated and a bit heavier because of that i think you do need to take on extra carbohydrates so my theory is with like carb loading Drink, really. Water. yeah lots of water hydration but just with um food is that in the like, lead up to it especially like the few days before um is like eat the same sort of like volume of food that you would normally eat but just increase the carbohydrate intake slightly so you know <laughs> add in some extra like make the portions a bit larger of your rice or add in some like bread or just if you were to have like a salad then maybe add in some croutons to that salad or chicken that's not carbs. Oh, sorry. That's the plot I thought we were talking about. We're talking about carbohydrates here, <laughs> James. Come on. You love carbs. You can edit this bit. Yeah, sounds like I need to. But yeah, just adding some extra carbohydrates to your meals. And like, if you have a snack, make that more like a carbohydrate-based snack. That's kind of... Anyway, taper. Yeah, that is taper. Anything else about taper? You're probably going to go crazy, aren't you? Worrying about, like, the time. Like your race time yeah don't use this as a time to change your race plan and time yeah just stick stick to your plan i mean use the time wisely to so like it research about where the start line is what time you need to be there what pens read your race pack read your race pack a lot of people don't um plan out where you're going to eat the night before if you're staying away make sure that all your accommodation sorted um you know if you use a particular gel make sure you've got those in stock if not order up 
um, don't change a race kit, make sure that's all washed and ready to go. I believe in the less is more bit now. Yeah, biggest thing is less is more. Just enjoy it. I love embracing taper. And yeah. some people are like, oh, I don't like you it. You don't have to go up in the morning and do that double run. Yeah, yeah, sleep. Sleep is a big thing when you're on taper. It's just rest and recovery. Yeah, your body's recovery rate's a lot higher while you're sleeping. Lots of baths. It's heading into the car park now. So just to summarize with the taper is don't stress, relax, stick to your original race plan, make sure that you're prepared and ready for the event itself. Get lots of sleep, use your time wisely, 